EA Sports within the game. Got my Brooklyn cause he saw rack south side C12 911 Grr to the reality we still outside Mine on the riches hard in the trenches You can't throw dirt on the underground we thrive in it Ghana boy stocks on the rise Charlie this flex no day ready See we wanna ride nobody with we the ones who started with it Translation Yanny had to buy Yanny at Yanny hits This goes so hard even the ops go with it uh huh That's how you know we lit Grr EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. From the six. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And now off to the races down the right side. And into the end zone. The pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, on the opening drive, he was looking for a big chunk play. Unfortunately, that time the secondary was ready for it. Charles picked it off. Not only that, they take it the other way for points. Homework. Preparation, research, it all comes back to that, VJ. Scouting your opponent, not just the players, but the coaches, too, and seeing what they call to begin a game, find out their tendencies. They recognize the early deep ball as part of their opposing game plan, and they weren't caught off guard when it showed up. From the six. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. 30. 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Arizona. That's a great response. You give up the first score of the game, but you go right down yourselves and get the equalizer. I just had a flashback there. I remember playing in a game like that in college where one of my teammates had said in the media that week, the opposite team would be lucky to cross our goal line. They crossed it in the first minute of the game. On our first offensive play, we scored to answer back. Something similar to what we just saw there. Very similar to what we just saw. Prater for the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So only 
even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. Start here at the 25. Let's go. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at their 25 yard line. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. But that kind of run on first down. That's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. A search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Lance. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down, here's Mitchell. And a short gain down to about the 33. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And it's a nice job to hold them just a couple and force the third down. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Murray now on first down. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down.
These two teams all tied after one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Murray to Connor on the check down. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and nine. Murray now to throw. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. James Conner taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Crater on and the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Check right. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And some room to run now. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. From the gun, it's Lance. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Here we go, set. Get, get. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. 
And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll try to run with Mitchell. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are an extra point away from drawing level. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Take it in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Connor. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Throwing on first down is Murray. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. First down is Lance. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance, a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Lance looking to throw on third and two. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Lance now on first down. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be marked out just outside the 10. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. To throw again on second down. Lance. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point. Get the kickoff taken care of and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 
So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Take it in at the three. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Jeez, let me finish smoking my blood real quick. Hold on. Hold on. out in front and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 the 49er offense set to get this drive underway and Charles for them a pretty good first half on the ground they had some success running the ball in quarters one and two and they got the lead now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter yeah and believe it or not you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first run second so for me it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense and it's working pretty well for them now and let's face it they can continue to do damage with it and in addition it sets up the pass game really well for them too throwing on second and 14 lance oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Isaiah Simmons getting by the offensive line and dropping the quarterback. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is taken around the 12. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Flush to his right. That went into the hands of Hopkins downfield. Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins, 52 yards. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from evening this one up. I know this defense knew it coming into the game, Charles, and they know it even more now. DeAndre Hopkins is a tough cover. And anytime you see him out there and there's less than double or triple teaming him, take a shot with it. Just what you're talking about. If he's such a tough cover, one guy's not going to get it down. Throw the ball out there and let him go get it. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And we got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance on the move to his left. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. McCaffrey running up the middle. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on 31. They'll run with Mitchell. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Elijah Mitchell, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point, And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. On second down, Connor looking for space. And some space here. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cardinals. James Conner with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cards are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. So here's a big play for the Cardinals as they'll go for two. And he will get into the end zone. So how about that for putting it on the line? They've taken the lead by a point here in the fourth quarter. For the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Another run. This time McCaffrey. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four but got three. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now Lance going to throw. This is Jennings. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First down, San Francisco. The pickup, 14 yards. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. Ready? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Lance. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From midfield, here's Lance. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Lance back to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid game. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot, so what can they do to get closer now on third down? And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. on the tuck and run. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Yeah, how about one last check? Sure. Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, 
Oh, it could be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And his kick is right there. It's good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Say I join 